The eighth of the nine noble virtues is self-reliance. The state of reliance on oneself or one's own powers and resources by not requiring any aid, support, or interaction from others for survival. A state of personal independence. As a people, we are by nature independent beings. This doesn't mean we don't need other people or enjoy being with others and socializing, but rather that we strive to ensure that we don't have to depend on others for survival. An Asatru is responsible for taking care of themselves and their families. This is their first and foremost responsibility and duty. One can never be truly comfortable if their family's welfare depends on something outside of their control. Being dependent on someone else for your needs puts you at a dangerous disadvantage. Such a position can make it very hard for you to choose between your principles and your livelihood. Always depend upon yourself for your own sense of self-worth. Self-reliance means to be self-sufficient, to rely on yourself as much as it is possible to do so. Strive to be as independent of outside influences whenever possible. The greatest fruit of self-sufficiency is freedom. Epicurus. It is thrifty to, to prepare today for the wants of tomorrow. Aesop. Make your own shoes and the shaft for your spear. A shoe can be made to fit wrong, and a spear shaft can be warped if the maker wishes you harm. The Havamal. A home of your own is always better because there you are your own master. A man's heart breaks when he must beg for his meals. The Havamal. Self-reliance.